teach you what assertiveness is. Because it's a big word. Assertiveness is a type of communication that deals with a problem and can be used to defend your space. It's being firm with your concerns. Say it with me. Be firm with your concerns. Say it like you mean it. Be firm with your concerns. Yes. It's about listening and accepting what others say, but also expressing your own needs and desires. And I'm here to teach you about these assertive ways. What is assertiveness and how do you first practice being assertive? Well, first you need to know your own needs. And you have to be able to be yourself. And that takes courage. For example, when Princess Twilight was taking the princess test, she accidentally swapped her friend's cutie marks around. This was a shock to every pony because their talents, their cutie marks, were what made them them. When their talents became their weaknesses, they didn't know who they were or what they were supposed to do, and they had no confidence. The same goes for you. You have to realize that you may not be the best at talking to other people. You may have totally embarrassed yourself in the past. But you know what? Don't sweat it. You Pegasi may have heard Arthur Nicholson's quote. Don't block the sunshine of life's today with the clouds of life's yesterday. Yes, absolutely. Do not let those clouds block your view. You have something better to go on? I think they said in the voice acting panel, uh, it was a, one of the voice actors said, you can have your five minute pity party, but then move on. Because you're better than that. And I am here to make sure that you are confident in yourself and are ready to attack the day. Let me hear you say it. Attack the day. Uh, you know how to do it. Attack the day. Say it. Attack the day. Louder. been a long con already. <laughs> so that's what assertiveness is about. It's about expressing your own needs and beliefs. Now a lot of you might be saying, that's great, but who are you? Brass knuckles. I thought Iron Will was the minotaur that taught about assertiveness. Note. I am also a minotaur and I am also teaching about assertiveness. Brass knuckles is my name and training ponies is my game. And I have been to over a half dozen conventions on the East Coast. This is my first West Coast convention. And I hope that you love what we're going to be talking about. And please, if you are interested, I do lots of other conventions, including anthro slash furry, video games, anime, and of course, my little pony. And I am so excited to be here. But because this is my first West Coast convention, I want you to know a little bit more about what makes Brass Knuckles tick. I haven't always been this forward. I haven't always been this outgoing. I haven't always been this happy. Years ago when I was in school, and let me tell you, Minotaur school, it's a herd. You are running all day and your hooves get tired. And when I was in school, one of the runts in the herd, I was picked on and there was just one bully and her name was Steel Wool and every time I saw Steel Wool, she was just abrasive and she would see what I'm wearing, these amazing neon day glow 80s hoof warmers and she would say, Brass Knuckles, I don't know why you leave the house like that. You are such a waste of air, I don't know why you even breathe. And I loved what I was wearing. I said, you know what, I'm not going to let her get to me, because you're not supposed to let them get to you. But inside, because I didn't know how to express my needs and be firm with my concerns, that anger began to build. And I didn't even know it was anger. I just was frustrated, I didn't like what she said, and I couldn't believe every day, running, Brass Knuckles, keep up, running. Brass Knuckles, you're clashing today. And it kept going until one day, 
I hit her. And I can't say that I was proud of that moment. It is good to stand up for yourself, but I actually felt ashamed because I didn't know how to deal with that. And it went without notice. Because in a hurt, you know, a little pushing and shoving isn't anything. But because no one noticed, that cloud of bullying hung over me for the rest of my grade school career. And then one day, just like Harry Potter, in the mail I got a letter from the Assertiveness Academy. I could go to school somewhere else, I could be someone else, I could do something on my own, and no one would know that I was the one that was bullied. And so I went to school, and I was so happy, I brought all my socks, it was just the best day. But everybody at Assertiveness Academy was not wearing the socks. Oh, especially not hoof warmers and day glow bright green. So you know what I did? Instead of standing up for myself, Yeah, I threw him away. It was years later that I realized I love hoof warmers. I love these socks. I love being myself, but I couldn't be accepted by others. I so wanted to be accepted by others that I couldn't accept myself. And that, my friends, is our second lesson. Accept yourself. Because I couldn't accept myself, I couldn't be happy even if I blended in with every single other person. And once I learned how to accept myself, guess what? Of course I bought more, that's why I can wear them today. That's why every day I wear rainbow colored socks, we've got some amazing green socks up here. Who else has colored socks? Oh no. Okay, yes, thank you, thank you, colored socks. It's okay to do something different as long as you love it. So accepting yourself and being yourself is the first lesson that I learned. And from there, I could start to share what I learned with you all. That's why we're here to talk assertiveness. Not only did I learn how to be myself, I learned how to stand up for myself. I learned how to deal with people. And I learned that it's okay to be scared, shy, and not confident. Because over time, you will believe in yourself if you accept yourself. Now, Minotaur lived a very long life. But let me tell you, it took me 10 years to get from there to where I am right now. You know the saying, it gets better? It gets better, but it may take time. So what you learn today, you will not be able to transform into a fantastic, strong Minotaur like me overnight. But with time, these tips will help you to move towards a better you and to be able to again, attack the day. What do you think about that? Are you ready? Yeah.